Hey YouTube, this is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to fix Google search from crashing on your iPad and iPhone. On November 5th, Google released Google search app 3.1.0, which brought notifications, reminders, some new cards, and hands-free voice. In this video, I'm also going to show you how to integrate Siri into your Google search if you have a jailbroken iOS device using tweaks like Now Now and Google Geary. They work on this new Google search version. So let's get on with it. And by the end of this video, you'll have your Google search working perfectly and you'll have Siri integrated with Google search if you like. So first, let me show you some features of Google Geary and how to integrate Siri. And then later on, I'll show you how to fix crashing when you have that problem where you click the Google search and it just crashes on you. What time is it? The time is 10.14 a.m. Siri, what time is it? The time is 10.14 a.m. Remind me to take the trash out. Here's your reminder. It says, okay then. Google, remind me to take the trash out. Open settings. Google, open settings. Open Pandora. Which app would you like to use? Pandora or Downloader? To get your jailbroken iOS 6 phone or iPad to work like this, you need the Google search app, the newest one. Even though it's crashing, um, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix the crash. Also, in Cydia, you need to install, and it will be put right into settings, you need the now now which will allow you to configure a activator uh, I use long hold because it's the same thing that Siri uses and it will make it so that you just have to press and hold the button and you can work with both Siri and Google search then the other thing you need is Google Geary and this is also free on Cydia and you can enable Google Geary so that when you press and hold the home button or whatever activator that you choose it will open up Google's search app and then any system commands you can route them to Siri like open an app or something like that um, and also you can send all to Siri so that everything gets asked with Siri using Google's speech-to-text engine but I like to keep that off and let the commands rule who opens or who does what and you could simply just say Google do something or you could say Siri do something as you've seen in the demo. For those of you who were watching this video to fix their Google app from crashing once they did the update to the newest version all you have to do simply is to go to Cydia and then once you go to Cydia you just type in search iCleaner and you get iCleaner. You don't need the pro version you probably can get the HD version if you're using an iPad and basically uh, with this app it will clean up some of the things that you have inadvertently installed when you uh, use uh, tweaks and, and uh, apps from the Cydia store. The first one is Copic uh, which you don't need it and CN Image Inserter and those will be removed when you do the iCleaner uh, for some reason Google crashes the app uh, because of these things and 
trust me, I wish I can show you uh, it fixing it, you know, showing you crashing and then running eye cleaner and then you'll see that it works. But you could just try it on your on your own because I already did it. Uh, I wish I would have saved it for the video sake. But basically all you do is once eye cleaner installs, it's right on your home screen there. You just open it up. You make sure you set everything to on and it will clean up everything and then once you open up the Google app again you'll see that it works so just basically hit the clean it will clean up applications it will clean up uh, you know dependencies and file types and all that other stuff and it's gonna pop up a, an advertisement just close it out and then it will respring your device and then once you click on the Google app it will open uh, with no problems and if you're interested in setting it up the way I have it uh, with the Google Geary and the Now Now, uh, that's up to you. So here's the advertisement. Just close that out. And now it's going to respring the device. You respring it. And then when you go back uh, to your home screen, you click the Google search and you'll see that it's going to work perfectly. What's also cool about the Google search app is when you're in the app, you could swipe from the bottom with one finger and you'll get all your cards. On the iPad you swipe from the left with one finger and you'll get all your search results including your reminders. Also, if you want to, anywhere inside the Google search app, you can say, hey Google, what is the closing price of Pandora? Pandora Media is currently trading at $29.11. And also, Google Geary still works. Hey Google, what color is the sky? Or you could say, hey Google, hey Google, Siri, what color is the sky? Okay, give me a moment. All right, here's what I got. Well, there you go. Google Geary still works, and Siri commands and everything from using Now Now and Google Geary. So that's pretty cool. So you got a way to fix your Google app from crashing. You have a way to integrate Google and Siri together in ways that you have two assistants helping you in any situation, whether it's pressing the home button and holding it and activating both, or even using hands-free once you're already in the Google search app. So this has been Dave. I hope this helps you, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.